that Ty Ridgeback was trained to keep deadly snakes at bay, even known to attack and kill cobras. It's uh, strong, it's powerful, um, fearless. Nobody's going to mess with you with a Thai Ridgeback. The Thai Ridgeback is a primitive breed which evolved from the Asian wolf in eastern Thailand. The Thai Ridgeback has been depicted in cave drawings in Cambodia and Thailand from as early as uh, 3,000 years ago. It's also an extremely rare breed. They have only been in the U.S. since 1994. There's believed to be only about 1,000 of them outside of Thailand um, and only about 100 in the United States. They were bred to be working dogs for uh, cart pulling. They were bred for guard dogs. They were bred for hunting. <coughs> and in Thailand today, they're primarily companion dogs that are highly protective of their family and property. And for the people of Thailand, a point of pride um, that they have a dog who is as beautiful and courageous and brave as this, as their national dog. This royal dog of Thailand is known for several remarkable characteristics. The Thai Ridgeback is one of three purebred dogs that have a ridge going down their back, which has the hair growing in the opposite direction. They're known for their big ears that stand straight up. It gives it kind of a, an adorable look when you're looking at it straight on. Adorable, yes, but also one lean, mean doggy machine. This is a dog's dog, if ever there was one. Um, a real Schwarzer dog. A muscle man. These dogs are active, agile, and versatile, excelling at jumping and climbing. Very, very well-developed dog. So these dogs can be extremely athletic. And Chris Kerner of Capistrano Beach, California, knows firsthand just how athletic a Thai Ridgeback can be. Magic is very, very agile. He he's, does some amazing things. The way he can spring and jump and land, he's, he's almost like a cat. Even more astonishing is Magic's skill on a paddleboard. Paddleboarding is a surface water sport where a person stands on a large surfboard with a single paddle and paddles out through the surf, then rides the waves back to shore. It requires great balance. Magic can do just about anything on a paddleboard. About the only thing that he can do that I can't is hang 20. Chris's children, Cameron and Hayden, agree. Magic does things that I've never seen any other dog do in my life. He's a really adventurous dog, and um, he's a good swimmer. Magic is magical. Okay, sit. Magic's athletic beach lifestyle today is a huge contrast to the first five years of his life. The gentleman that had Magic, he was traveling a bit. So Magic spent most days alone. When Chris and his wife Shirley heard of Magic's predicament, they made arrangements to adopt Magic from his former owner and give him a family life. Their lives have been full of magical moments ever since. Magic, there's a squirrel up here. Magic's life now is, is fantastic. He's a very happy dog. A happy dog who fit right in almost instantly with the Kerner's beach lifestyle. About six months after adopting Magic, the dog began crying at the beach while Chris was paddleboarding. He would sit there and just whine. I went down there one day with a, one of my bigger boards that could hold two people and put it in the water and let Magic out of the car, he just ran down and hopped on the board like he's been doing it his whole life. He was on uh, the board with me for at least 45 minutes. He didn't fall up once, and we've been paddling ever since that day. Now Chris can't keep Magic out of the water. Magic is very aware uh, when I'm ready to go paddling, it, and he gets very upset if I go without him. We have a group that we paddle with sometimes, and uh, they all have dogs, and we get out and paddle together. And Magic knows he's good. He can hop on a surfboard and grip on it without even falling off. And after a long day on the paddleboard, Magic likes to end the day in song. He's just fantastic. He he's, does everything with us. He's really enriched our lives. Like Magic, Ty Ridgebacks bond closely with their families. But they can be a territorial breed that's very cautious around unfamiliar people, especially on their property. It's a dog who is very likely to have aggression issues with other dogs. So early training and socialization are a must with this breed. They thrive in warm climates and are intolerant of cold weather. The Thai Ridgeback is a healthy breed, but prone to a congenital defect called dermoid sinus. Which is a rare skin condition that can be fatal. Grooming couldn't be easier with these dogs. A little brushing during the shedding season, an occasional bath will do them fine. 
While every dog is unique, generally Thai Ridgebacks thrive in warmer climates. They're a sturdy breed, but are prone to dermoid sinus. They're low maintenance when it comes to grooming, but can be high maintenance when it comes to training and socialization. So only experienced dog owners should consider owning this breed.